right, a live look at San Francisco right now. It is cloudy, a little bit sunny, but it's empty, at least when it comes to office space. New data released today shows there is more vacant office space in the city right now than ever before. But there are signs things may be looking up soon. Here's investigative reporter Hilda Gutierrez. According to this preliminary report, office vacancies are at an all-time high. But there is hope. The rate is moving up, but it's doing it at a slower pace. This view of San Francisco from above shows a bustling, vibrant city. But when you drop down to sidewalk level to look at the South Market District, you can't avoid seeing all the for lease signs. That's because according to commercial real estate firm CBRE, 36.6% of San Francisco's offices are currently empty. That's well over a third and up 1% from the last quarter of 2023. Office vacancy rates have been on the rise in San Francisco the past few years, but there are strong signs that trend is slowing. CBRE's Tech Insight Center executive Colin Yasukoshi believes the market for office space is beginning to transition out of its four-year downturn. The main differences from a year ago is that the amount of space coming on the market has slowed down and the amount of tenants who are looking for space has actually increased. With buildings selling at 50 to 75 percent discounts, Yasukoshi says it's a great market for renters. So they may give you six months, they may give you a year of free rent. And many companies that need to cut back are hanging on to their leases and just subleasing instead. Which means that a tenant determined they had too much space and they want to lease it to another tenant to uh, reduce their cost. These are the biggest office leases so far this year. At the very top is a six floor sublease from the fintech firm Adian on this building on Brennan Street. Also on the list, law firm Goodwin Proctor signed the largest new lease on 525 Market Street. CBRE's research shows companies are looking for nearly as much office space now as they did right before the pandemic. It's nice, it offers good views, and also equally importantly, it's in a good location. Yasukoshi says tech and AI companies account for 50% of the tenants looking for space today. According to CBRE, the high demand that they're seeing today for office spaces is going to take two to three years to translate into new leases. In San Francisco, with the investigative unit, I'm Hilda Gutierrez.